This is a tutorial in in fitting text to path. If you take a look at the text here, this to this text here, the Lotus School of Arts, and the established 1967, those are text, but it's in the path of this inner circle here. So that's what we're going to talk about in this tutorial. Well, first of all, um, this logo that I created is all vector logo. So if I click on view, wireframe, it is a vector logo. So since we're, when we're doing this project by recreating this logo again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this logo and I'm going to convert it to bitmap with a very low resolution, which is 25 DPI. And then I click on OK. So you notice it's very low resolution. Okay. So that's what we're going to do now is to make this a high resolution one. Okay, so now click on the object or the bitmap and then you go to arrange and click on lock object. Now you can go to wireframe, view wireframe to see the, the object here. Okay. So we're going to start with this object here in the center by using your bezier tool. So if you click on bezier, click here, and then we're going to click on here. To make it a straight line, you hold on Control shift and then click on the second point. And I'm going to go here, and I'm going to close it. You know it's going to close because of the arrow there. Close. Okay. Now I'm going to go to my Shape tool, click on this segment here, and I'm going to convert line to curve. And then I can shape it up now. Okay. So now that looks good to me. So if you want to smoothen this out, you go to your shape tool and then select this node and you go here to make node smooth. Okay. So that's a smooth node now. Okay. Since I know this is a mirror image of this one too, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this object here that I made. And I, I in my keyboard, the plus sign in my keyboard to duplicate without offset. Now I have two objects here on top of each other. Now, I hold on control, then while I'm holding control, hold it down. And then in here, because these are two objects now, you click on this this node here and drag it to the right okay so now those it automatically mirrors it horizontally so now the next thing I have to do is to click on these two objects hold on shift or control oh sorry shift so and th those are two objects now and you go to weld there perfect now I also know that this one here, this these two objects here, are also the same objects, but it's all only rotated. So I click on this first object here, and then I click again, and then I'm going to see this uh, the center of rotation. You go to the center of location of the rotation and drag it going down to that end. Now in your keyboard plus sign to duplicate it. So I already duplicated that. Now I'm going to go to this icon here for rotate and I go rotate it like this. And if you notice the center rotation is in this bottom here. Okay, so I have that. So I click on it again. Click one more time so I can see the rotation. And then in the keyboard the plus sign so it duplicates without offset and then move again there okay. now for this one here I'm just going to recreate that again so I click on my bezier tool click here 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 and close it there. I'm going to go to my shape tool click here 
uh, convert line to curve okay that's good and I'm gonna do it the same way here too convert line to curve and here convert line to curve and there so if I'm gonna make that smooth here these two nodes to be smooth I select those two nodes and click on make node smooth there I'm good now hit F4 to see the whole object now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one select this and then hold on shift select this this one and then this one so I got selected three objects and then I'm going to to mirror it you can go mirror horizontally here click sorry but before that control Z again before that you go into your keyboard the plus sign so we have to duplicate that first plus sign and then mirror it horizontally and then I can just move this over to the right side there there I'm good now so that I have my basis I'm going to uh, basis on my target I just move this over to the left side and then I'll go to view and then click on enhance view okay so now I'm going to sample that color click on the eyedropper tool click on this one for sample color I know that sample there and then I hold on shift and then pour this one too click it's a lighter blue hold on shift and pour and pour click on this one go back to my, my drawing hold on shift and pour and same thing with this one four, four. okay now I'm going to delete the outlines so select all and go to your your outline and then click on none so now I just want to know now which ones to back and which ones to front I know the green will be in front right so at first I'm going to click on this this two and I go arrange order to back of page okay which is this one here and then this one too shift select this one and you go arrange order to back of page okay so I'm good now the only thing here is this one here the green leaf is transparent so I click on that one and hold on shift and click on this one and I go to my transparency and I'm going to go to uniform there and I'm going to decrease the transparency a little bit okay so I'm good now I'm going to select this and then I'm going to group it okay so that part's done so now the only thing here is this one here so I go to my shape tool sorry my bezier tool so click here click and then click here and then go this way here and then close go to my shape tool click on this first line here I'm going to make this a curve so click on convert curve to line first and then click on convert line to curve and then I'm going to go this way okay going to do the same here click on this line here and then convert to curve line to curve and I'm just going to shape it this way okay so I'm good now since this is grouped together I'm just gonna move it over this side here okay and then this one would be the green so it's the same color as this I go to my eyedropper tool click on this one here and then I'm gonna pour I'm going to remove the outline so once again I move this to the left okay I'll just put it here for now okay now my next one is I'm going to uh, make the circles here so I draw a first circle I can draw it 
in the side like that and then I'm just going to move it over to the center and I'm just going to see I better go to wireframe view wireframe okay so now okay so now that looks good okay. now again in your keyboard the plus sign so I'm going to duplicate that without an offset so click plus sign and then before dragging this one I hold on shift okay shift and drag these corners here okay so that's for the thin line there and then plus sign again and then hold on shift before dragging this okay so I'm duplicating the here okay now I go back to view enhance view now I can actually uh, what I'll do I'm going to make it a wireframe again yeah. so I'm going to actually I'm gonna unlock this go to arrange unlock and then I'm going to drag this going to the right side yeah. so I could see clearly what I'm doing in here okay yeah. so now Okay, now the next thing to do is I'm going to type in Lotus uh, School of Arts. So the text tool, I caps lock. Okay, so Lotus School of Arts. Okay, so I'm going to go put it here first and then I'm going to type in the Established 1967. So establish 1967. Okay. Now, before doing the text, I'm just going to make the thickness of the lines here. So I click on my outer circle. I go to my uh, tool here, uh, my outline tool. An outline pen. I'll start with uh, eight points. Click OK. That's too thick, so I'm going to make that maybe six points. Click OK. Okay. So I won't worry about the color yet. Okay. So the inner circle uh, is thinner than the outer. So I go. If that was six, I'll make that four. Click OK. Okay, that's fine and then this one I think would be the same one as the outer circle which is eight points okay so I'm fine now I'm going to sample my color click on eyedropper tool click on this blue there you know it's blue okay hold on shift okay since it's an outline I have to make sure wait until that outline will show up and then click and then this one too. Let's see that's outline. And this one outline. Perfect. So I'm done. Now this one I know that's aerial uh aerial black. Oh actually maybe it's Franklin Gothic. So I'm going to size it. Okay. But I'm gonna fix that later just in case it's not the right size. So I click on my text, go to text fit text to path and it's gonna ask you for the path so I'm going to go into this path here which is the inner circle and you see that red line there it means to say it is in the center now so I'll just click there I know I've got space here between the line but you can adjust that later in the property bar here this is the property bar so this one is the horizontal offset I can adjust that uh, no, the, I don't need to adjust it. I need to adjust this one here, the distance from path. So I'm going to increase the distance of path and take a look. Okay. Now I notice the text is small. So I can change this in my text properties here. I can make that, let's say, 62 points. Yeah, it's, that's close. So see, I'm adjusting it here. 
okay and actually this one is the horizontal offset I can move it there or move it down okay what I do sometimes I I okay I I make this center like that and I grab a ruler oh sorry in the ruler I click on the guidelines just to make sure it's lined up so I click here and then adjust it until I know the spacing is right which is yeah that's fine and I'm going to delete that okay so I'm done with that and this established 1967 I'm going to change that font uh, okay I think it's uh, this one and I am going to actually that's not the font I think it's this one here and I'll make it bold okay so again I go to select the text click on the text fit text to path and I'm going to go to this path here okay I'm just gonna click on that because that's a center okay I know it's not the right orientation yet but we can fix that later remember this one we can fix that later so we go with the path first the distance from path so I'm going to increase the distance oh, sorry before that one I have to make the orientation the right way first so I click on this one okay and then in here I click on mirror horizontally and then mirror vertically okay. and then now I know it's the right distance now I mean it's the right orientation then I can move my path there I know it's not the right one yet but then you can adjust this one too Now I can still increase the size, I'll make that 45 here. And you notice the spacing too of the text. I have to increase the spacing of the text. So I go to my shape tool, I click on the text, and then I'll just move this one. There. I think that's too much. Okay. Now can still do some adjust adjustments here so the there and then I just and just to make sure I drag a guideline again and I am going see this red thing you can also do that you click on that and then you can adjust there there it's perfect so you delete that guideline and I have this circle here so I'll create a circle hold on control to make a perfect circle I put it over here and I duplicate it plus sign the keyboard and then I move it over here okay now I select these two or I go to my eyedropper tool first and click on this one to sample that color and then I hold on shift fill fill and then I remove the outline because I can see the outline I click on none there you go and then I can just move this logo over here there so I just recreated the logo 